Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker and ladies and gentlemen of the House, I stand in opposition to the pending motion. I have many concerns about these pieces of legislation, but I want to briefly cover just two reasons for my opposition, specifically that the legalization of physician-assisted suicide or doctor-prescribed death will put the elderly at even greater risk of abuse and coercion, and it also puts our youth at greater risk of suicide. I know those, that those on the other side of this deba debate often say that these proposals are safe and intended only for those terminally ill patients who desire a lethal prescription. But the reality is that the physician-assisted suicide poses risk to the elderly, opening the door for more and more serious elder abuse. This is, is because it gives family members or caregivers more opportunities for abuse creating an environment in which elderly people may feel pressure to opt for a lethal prescription rather than being a burden to others or their family. As attorney Mary Hannard explains, physician-assisted suicide greatly increases the risk of elder abuse and suicide among the elderly by creating yet another path of abuse against older individuals. Abuse which is often subtle and extremely difficult to detect. In fact, legalized physician-assisted physician suicide may hide abuse of elderly and disabled Americans by providing a complete liability protection for doctors and promoting secrecy. It is not hard to imagine this scenario described in Not Dead Yet CEO and President Diane Coleman. An, aggressive, uh, an abusive caregiver can suggest assisted suicide to an ill person, sign as witness to the request, and pick up the drugs. No independent witness is required at the death. So how would anyone know if the lethal do dose is self-administered or even if the person consented at the time? We already know, of course, that elder abuse is a significant problem in Maine. In fact, 33,000 elders are abused in Maine each year. Additionally, almost 90% of elder abuse is perpetrated by family members. To legalize physician-assisted suicide seems incompatible with reducing and eliminating elder abuse in our state. In addition to elder abuse, this bill presents another danger to our citizens. Tragically, a growing problem for Maine's youth has been suicide. We have all been affected by the loss of friends or family. Personally, a neighbor's eighth grade son committed suicide this winter. And my cousin's son, Bryce, suffered the same tragic fate, leaving their families devastated. If this bill passes, how many more young people in Maine will we lose who feel that if suicide was right for Aunt Jennifer when she didn't want to go on, it's right for them too as they struggle with adolescent problems? For these reasons, I ask you to vote against the pending motion. 